Hello, it is March 2nd, 2016, and welcome to the cast. Yo, chumps. Jordan, uh, put chumps. on some, uh... By chumps, I mean our loyal fans. Nice, not slow, uh, kind of energetic music. Well, we got music, we got stuff. We got music, we got a fat guy, a semi-fat guy, and a... Slu. Skinny. Am I skinny? I don't know. Let's, no? just, let's I, not I, talk we about got th We got three chumbly wumblies. Chumbly sure, wumblies. okay, let's go with that. And today on the cast, we're gonna start with WTFU. What the fuck? No, where's the fair use? Ah. Now, okay, Um. I'm, I can't remember all of it. I probably should have watched the video Well, again. we're not just talking, we're but. talking about... At this point, it's gone beyond just one video. We're talking about no, the whole. I, I know, I know. I just I want to explain how how I first found it. Fair enough. Um, I'm not very in depth with the YouTube process, so yeah. Like you probably... How much how much of the uh, background work do you work do? You occasionally hit play, I think. <laughs> I hate you sometimes. Yeah. And by sometimes I mean ninety percent. By ninety percent I mean the extra ten percent. <laughs> God. Anyways, <laughs> um, so yeah, I was browsing um, uh, YouTube and I noticed a uh, nostalgia critic video. If you don't know who the nostalgia critic is, he's just a he's an internet critic who views nostalgic TV re reviews nostalgic TV and movies and specifically movies. commercials as well and, and commercials yeah. I especially love his commercials yeah that's where I recommend you should start just watch all of his commercial specials but let's face it they are awesome if you're watching us you're watching our pad podcast uh, our patty cast <laughs> patty cakes patty cast patty cast baker's talker <laughs> Nice try, but I'm the patty cake champion. No, 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 no quoting greater forms of anyway, art. Anyway, if you watch our podcast, you probably already know all about Nostalgia Critic. Yeah. Have so, I talked about him that much? No, but it's more, it's the kind of things that people who would follow us would also follow. Oh, it's just... Possibly. Possibly. Anyways, so, um, yeah, um, anyways, like I said, I'm a big fan of his. I, I watch all of his videos, but, um... I noticed one, and it didn't really catch my eye that much. It said it was just YouTube pound sign WTFU, and I was like, and, and um, the title is "Where's the Fair Use?" and I'm like, uh, it doesn't sound like anything I'd be interested in. When's the next review? So I just ignored it for a while, and eventually I did sat down and I watched it, and it really kind of opened my eyes. He went into a lot of detail about um, copyright claims issues that have been going on with YouTube for. Quite some time yeah, now. Yeah, you see why I kind of can get fussy about sometimes. Uh, game audio is too high. Game audio is not high enough. Yeah, and like... it turns out uh, there are, and there's a lot more to it than that. I mean, there are some money issues. Like I think if a video is dinged, they actually hold on to your money. Oh yeah, we have two videos on the channel that we do not get ad revenue for because someone copyright claimed them. Yeah, but it's like not only do the we only not get the money, thing... they hold on to the money, and then the claimer can take that money. The only thing I, the reason I yes. haven't actually argued against these, because these are appear to be legitimate claims right. on our videos, and it's only two videos, and one of, well, one of them is one of our highest watched videos. It's Jurassic World Part Three. Mm -hmm. I still don't see too much um, yeah. fuss in it. By the way, we just recently broke thirty dollars. <laughs> We're Yay. seventy more dollars, and we get paid. I know. Oh I'll get, God. I'll get twenty bucks. You'll get twenty bucks. Blue will get twenty bucks. Jordan will get 40 bucks. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, yeah, I was really intrigued by this. And it, it hit me, you know, right here in the sternum <laughs> because I, I, as a He's patting his boob. No, I was no, patting my I, sternum. No, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was making lies just Wait, to make people laugh. What's this particular piece of bone called? Um, I think it is the sternum. I don't know. I thought the sternum was kind of like just this whole... No, it's, oh, yeah. it's kind of this mesh. Diaphragm? No, no it's, no, this, no, this is really the kind of here. where the ribs meld together in the center. Mm. Yeah. Uh, anyways, bio that's biology. We're not here for biology. Or are we? No, we're Anatomy. not. Anatomy. Mm. Penis heads. Anyways. <laughs> and you've ruined it. Yes. Anyways. Um, so yeah, um, it, it. I really felt that this was something that needed to be shared. Oh, yeah. So no I, question. Yeah, mm. absolutely. So I... So I you know, posted posted to Facebook, and that's when Mike saw it. And um, I don't know, Blue, did you see it? 
I still haven't watched it, but I know a little bit about it because I've have been covering it once. Okay, then I definitely right. think but you should know watch about it that the. Way you in know. any case, we do want to talk about the movement because a lot of uh, bigger let's players, not just let's players, want, well, let, not let's players. I misspoke. YouTubers, YouTubers. Yeah, some YouTubers. bigger YouTubers have already gotten in on it. Like a few days after we actually saw where's the fair use, Team Four Star got taken down. Yeah. Which, um, this isn't the first time they've been taken down for fair use policy, but they've always been able to get it back, but it is... And they did this time. Pretty quickly. Yeah, but. ridiculously stacked against the YouTubers, and it's unfortunate. Specifically parodies, um, like Abridgers. They yeah. seem to have it stacked against them the most, because, hmm. I mean, they are using clips from entire videos. Like, honestly, I'm very tempted to... Um, put a counterclaim against the ones that we have put up just because of where's the fair use not on the fact that you know oh i feel like we need our money but it is kind of to some degree it is about the principle of things and yeah. since it has become kind of a big deal i feel like yes we do have copyright music in the background but again it's part of parody because well not parody necessarily but it's we're it's talking still, over it it it's is it's part of fair use mm -hmm. we're allowed to I think, I, I'm pretty sure Let's Plays are covered under it. Yeah. There are some specifics about copyrighted music in some games that okay. we have to be aware of, but... Okay, it's... That's, understand that's understandable. I mean, I get it. I get the legitimate side of it. Yes, if you are putting videos up for profit, like, or, you know, posting entire movies, and, and, and the companies that own them want to copyright them, I get that. Yeah, but that's not but, what YouTube is for, and it's exactly. never been what it's for. Well... Well, people have done yeah, it for that, but that's do, not but what yeah. it's for. But when it's when it's a parody, an, an affectionate parody that gets you more. That's this is my biggest thing, is that um, I mean Team Four Star. How many more people have gotten into Dragon Ball Z? I mean the early have gone back and watched earlier Dragon Ball Zs because of it. Yeah, I mean How, I look was at them. so friggin' for about ten years. Just complete Dragon Ball Z was dead to me, plain and simple. I had no interest in it. Yeah. And finally, it's like Team Four Star. I never did get past, I think, the Saiyan Saga. Like, they got on Namek and then I stopped watching because of stuff. But oh, like, wow. it was able to bring it back for me. And it's like that was, Those are honestly my fondest memories are of the, are of the uh, Nam Namek Saga. But I was also saga. watching Kai, so, you know. It oh, didn't God. take me that long to catch oh. up. Okay, yeah, so I see what you're saying. Um, but um, for me, it's... And it's um, yeah, a, so a lot of the Nostalgia Critics videos have gotten removed before. Like, um, I know Cat in the Hat, Son of the Mask, The Room, The Purge. And these are bad movies. You, These are, like, acknowledged as bad movies. So it's not like they're a threat. Correct. But, in, in fact, people actually go back and watch these movies because of the critic. And so it's the fact that they're taking them down and it's like, this is helping you. These are... This is all free advertising for you guys. Yeah. It's a very frustrating <sighs> whole set of things, really, in the end. Because people get these free... Yeah, people get these free advertising. And we're not trying, as you know, parody makers, as creators, we are not trying to take someone else's work. We're not trying to steal someone else's jokes and say, Oh, ho, ho, I made this. No. We are trying to, you know, share what we love. Or, in some cases, what we loathe. <laughs> Pokemon Light Platinum. Oh, God, really? We're going to mention that now? That's about as much mention as I'm going to give it. Good. Not to mention, he, he does loathe it. But, you know, the point is we share in it. And really, what YouTube creation, for me, is about, it isn't about the money. Mm -hmm. The money is nice. The fact that we can make some money just enjoying ourselves and having fun, that's the big thing. It's about having fun. When you put stipulations on it, rules and things that you have to fall under. Oh, sorry, you can't have fun this way. Your fun has to follow our guidelines or we will take you down and not let you have your fun. That's when you kind of just start ruining it for everyone. Yeah, and and it's... There are just people... There are just so many people that... They, they abuse it. It's 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 the abuse. Yeah. It's the ugh, so much abuse. If it's a legitimate claim, again, I I get it. I understand. But most of these aren't. Most of these are. I mean, trolls. Trolls can abuse the system so easy. All they have to do is uh, is is ding a video. Hey, this is ours. No, 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 actually... no, 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 not that. Not even that. All they have to do is say that 
this move, this is copyrighted. They don't have to claim it as theirs. They can just say, this is copyrighted. I was not aware it was that bad. Oh, it's that easy. That's the problem. Oh, crap. Just... I rem um, because the same thing can happen at school. Um, what was it? As long as you are doing something that is, like, not... Think of it like, oh, think of it like this. All right, somebody's playing uh, Skullgirls. You know you hate that, right? Mm -hmm. Only thing you have to do, which you can do to the gamers, but I would hope you wouldn't, is say, oh, the gamers are playing this game, and you literally just say they're playing that game, and it's explicit. Because Skullgirls can be explicit because oh, of how yeah. they're dressing and everything like that. Yeah, didn't that happen? Yes, but we didn't get in full trouble for it, but we did get um, the gamers to stop playing it for a little bit because they said you have to play it less because, of course, if one person catches a peek of it, we can get shut down for it. Right. Which I find actually I find that absolutely hilarious because um I play Mortal Kombat on um oh in, in the open. I played Saints Row. That's how I played most of Saints Row because um, I didn't really I'm not I'm I'm not big in the consoles, but well, okay, I am, but I'm also not. Basically it's um what is it? Uh you enjoy what you enjoy. Correct. No 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 no, it's not that. It's um Tom, it's it's. I just have a lack of interest in playing my consoles at home. I'm more oh. into handhelds. I've always just well, I've recently gotten that way, like the last ten years. But so when I when I got Saints Row Four, when I I played it at school, there's a damn dildo bat in it. Yeah, we're I gonna... was playing that in wide open view of the entire cafeteria. Ba well, not the entire, but the basic the back half of the cafeteria. Nobody cared. But, you know, it's still a thing that, you know, I could easily have gotten dinged on. But, eh, it's always because they assume you play a video game, you must be a part of the gamers. And I yeah. don't understand that logic. But that's time. not what we're really yeah, talking about yeah, today. Right. Yeah, we're talking, I was just using it's, that as an it's example. A, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a similar thing. Like, um, all you have to do is, if a, tro if, if a troll, or anybody, if, if, if a video is dinged for copyright claim, immediately that video goes, goes down. Correct. Immediately. And it's... And you get a sh you get you get a strike. Now you have to if you are if you successfully argue against it, which you can, then it's you know it's like oh okay that's not okay it goes it goes back up. You get access to your 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 money's no longer frozen or whatever. But you know if you don't if you don't successfully fight it, then you know that's a strike. And, and again three strikes in your videos your channel's taken down permanently. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Thankfully, that's not as... Thankfully, they do have ways for you to get your channel back. I mean, otherwise, you know, how many accounts would Team 4 Star have had to go through? Yes. Oh, God. But it's still a ridiculously flawed system. And, you know, I've even heard of worse abuses of it. Like, for example, there is someone who makes um, mixed tracks on uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. And he'll post, post his uh, mixtapes or digital mixtapes or whatever. And this guy is a total scumbag. Like, he put about 30 seconds of Beethoven's Ode to Joy mm -hmm. in the middle of one of his mixes just so that he can call copyright claims on Ode to Joy as part of his metal mix. So, people will get copyright claims for using... Oh, shit. Um, using that track for someone who has no ownership to the thing, calling claims on it, which is just... That's yeah. That, that's fucked up. It's people like that are what are really what drive me absolutely nuts. Yeah. And especially when it comes to something like this. <sighs> it's, oh, it's ridiculous. Again, um, again, again, I don't have that many. Um, I mean, there's there's a lot more to this than just what we've said. So I really recommend you check out other people. And um, the critic's not the only one who's talked about this. Um, there's been several people. Yeah, it's mentioned Team Four Star. Yeah, Team Four Star. I think they actually did post a video about it. Yep. Um, yep. I, I know, watched um, it. It was very. Um, let's see, Markiplier, I believe, did one as well. Yeah, I know. Um, I know Proto Mario did. I know. Uh, oh God, what was his name? A, a, a lot. Of, uh, a lot. I'm sorry for forgetting some of these names, but a lot of. A cup a lot of YouTubers have made videos about it. So really just just look up where's the fair use or just pound sign WTFU and you'll you'll find videos about it and they'll ex they'll, they'll they'll explain a lot more in in depth detail about what's really going on. And in the end, it's not about us wanting to be 
greedy or about, oh, we need, we want to have our money. It's about being able to share our creative things without being stepped on. And that's the biggest thing. Again, I've already said it, but when you can just step on someone's creativity, because, hey, oh, I don't like this person, so I'm going to start dinging him. That's when you kind of just lose. It's just, that's when things just become a mess. Basically, that's when shit just goes too far. And we've been very lucky, not lucky, actually, lucky is, isn't the right word, but we've been very blessed to not have gotten things dinged or have gotten copyright strikes. And even, here's the worst part of it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, it can be a completely private video and you can still get copyright dings on it that way. Yep. Video that you never shared that the only person who can view is you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they can mark it, which actually did happen with one of our videos when we were a year ago. And by the way, um, this video is actually going up on the one year anniversary of our channel. Oh, you don't know when it is? It's March 2nd, huh. which is the day that this video today is going up. Hmm. Hmm. So, Interesting. You know, happy anniversary to CB Presents. It's just, when we before we were doing the videos, we had, there was a copyright claim that went up for one of our Sonic videos, and it wasn't even the final edited version. Incidentally, the final edited version, with the one that got made public, didn't get a copyright claim. No. Yep. Only the one that I posted on my personal channel for to share for reference got dang, which of course. Hmm. It's it's the whole system again is just a giant mess. And now oops. to be fair, we do have some good news about this. Or at least I do. Recently, um the critic um mentioned or uh, at least the the guy behind the critic um, Doug Walker, posted on Facebook that recently they were tweeted by the president of, of YouTube or CEO Google. Or, or Google or whatever, whoever. No, I don't think it was Google. It would have been Google because they own YouTube. Oh, so it would have been Google. Well, but right, they, they did that. say that they are paying attention or that they have heard and they are trying to fix the issues. And that is such a great thing in the end. I mean, in the end, if you... If we want these things to stop, we have to make a fuss. And making a fuss, oops, it just, it sucks. Having to make a fuss about something, especially when it's something that's just, where's the fair use? Having to make a fuss about that just, it really frigging sucks when you have to make a fuss just to have the right thing be done. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I would say that's well that goes across with a lot of other things and that would get me a little off topic of this but that happens with a lot of other things oh i'm not saying it doesn't i'm but i'm outright saying it really sucks when to either have the right thing done by you or to do the right thing you have to make a fuss i mean i'm not going to compare this to things like civil rights movement because that is yeah. a huge thing that again the people that you have to do to get that change what they have to do sucks for them it True. really does and even though this is just a minor thing it's just about entertainment and sharing your creative property it still sucks when you're put in a situation where you have to fight yes it does fight for your rank <sighs> oh god well Beyond that, do we have anything else we want to talk about today? We are only a third of the way into the cast. <laughs> um, well, um, Mortal Kombat X just got an update. Oh, wait, that's video game related. Video Hi, games! Play the siren of the not video game talking about and splash the goop on Alex's head. Ah, jeez, oh, Jordan, the siren's noxious. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> referencing things that we don't actually can't hear. Anyways... Um, uh, oh, I got a 90 on my midterm. Woohoo! Yay! Hey, you can fly in this world. Yeah, um, as always, there is a game that's being played by some members of our team while we're running this. In this case, it's more Saints Row stuff. Saints Row for Get Out of Hell. And they, but, you know, we'll get to that eventually on the channel, honest. Yep. 
Yeah. Once we're done with Saints Row 4. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe maybe not immediately. I might go back to some old games that I have yet to complete. Or <laughs> Red Dead Redemption. Or I might do some Red Dead Redemption because that is a fucking awesome game. Ha. Them bears. Oh, Lord. Are we talking no, literal bears? cougars. Oh, yeah, the cougars, dude. Dear God. Ah, uh, bears and cougars. Bears and cougars. <laughs> 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 You're horrible for that, Mike. I am. Thank you for noticing. But, yeah. Uh, so, let's see. Do we have any move? Let's... <laughs> for a second, I guess we can talk about the Batman v Superman trailer. Have we done that on the cast? Nope. No, all right, let's talk about the Batman v Superman trailer and just for a second talk about how much fuss the internet was making over... Over the dumbest thing. Yes, but let's first step back a little more recent. And let's talk about Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Leo! For... You finally got your Oscar! Oh, all right! Play, man. Yeah, to be, um, to be fair, I mean, I, I mean I'm, I'm not his biggest fan... I, I don't really care one way or the other. It's still just funny if that's like there's so much fuss being made over Leonardo DiCaprio finally got an Oscar. Hey, he actually deserves one. I mean, but it's also he's... kind of funny just how ridiculous the whole memes about Leonardo DiCaprio will never get an Oscar were yeah. too. Especially now that he's finally gotten his Oscar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, surprise! We are actually in the alternate universe, not the we're in the alternate universe where he was able to get an Oscar. This mm. isn't the main universe, whatever. Seems legit. Isn't it, though? What? Damn. So, um, but, yeah, I mean, whoa, jeez. So, congratulations to Leo. You, you, earn, you earned it, man. You really, Jesus. You really did deserve it. So, yeah. Yeah. Incidentally, what the heck? Incidentally, the movie that he was in, apparently, so it's uh, based right. on a true story sort of deal. Yeah. Except how bastardized it was from the actual true story is almost hilarious. Like, basically, yes, they thought the guy was dead, but and he did go after them, but he wasn't after them for revenge or anything. He was just after them because, hey, you have my stuff. I'm trying to think, what was the funny thing? Oh, yeah, the gay community made, uh, like, a little funny thing about it, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, let's have the... Jordan, play the jingle of the gay remark. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces passing, I'm homebound. Na 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 and I need you da 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 and I miss you da na 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 and now I wonder if I could fall into the sky. Do you think time? would pass me by cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just see you tonight or the gay insight that's what we'll call it let the, the gay <laughs> let the gay zik play <laughs> oh god that's terrible wow oh. that took a while to run you over yeah it did uh, but basically they were like Hmm, Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't get his Oscar. Grows beard. Only wins an Oscar. You do the math. <laughs> God, like, this wow. way you say that, though, was... <laughs> you do the math. I was thinking, like, oh, come on. Of course he gets a bearish look, and then people start to fawn over him. Come on his beard? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I did not say that. That's... Yes, but you're saying come on while talking about beards. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's some kind of nasty. That's mean dude. for you. That is some kind of nasty. Oh, well, God. you know what they say. I mean, I don't, but I'm sure you do. I don't. Uh, well, then none of us know what they say, I guess. We'll be ever for, we will forever be doomed to not know what they say. Are, is it, are you sure it's not butter my butt and call me a biscuit? No, I'm fairly certain it's not <laughs> butter my butt and call me a biscuit. That's not butter my butt. That's butter my butt hole. When you think about it, Ew, it's actually okay, no, the phrase is butter my that. backside. But because think about it, where do you stick the butter on a biscuit? In between the two halves. Actually, <laughs> some people just put it on top, so it'd be more Same. buttering your face. No, it'd be more buttering, buttering one the butt. side. Yeah. But I, I put mine between the between the two. Uh, yeah, the it's two just halves. sometimes I'm too lazy. I can't bring to, myself um, to say the two buns. <laughs> the two, two buns. buns. Wow. 
I, I sometimes I'm just too lazy to actually cut the biscuit open. I'll just put butter on top and the butter in my biscuit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the cast where we talk about such interesting things as butter and biscuits, biscuits and butts and beards. And I can't believe it's not butter. And bears. Hey, yeah, bears. bears. And cougars. Oh God, that was still fucking scary. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I honestly don't oh, know. Oh, let, are you just killing them for worshiping you? Yes. No, I'm killing them for uh to, to you, grant are, me more money. I was about to say, I was like, are you being a spiteful god? Because so, if you are, please be a spiteful god. <laughs> in any case, um, another thing. So let's talk about real quick what we necessarily have in store for the channel. So we've got at least one new segment planned, as well as the recent new segment, the that dating like, oh, games, which first episode Ooh, went cool. up last week. Uh, Honey pop. Honey pop. Um, so we've got the day and game segment. Blue has a new segment he's going to be doing with Jordan, which will be, aside from one instance on Squirrel Interviews, his first role on the channel itself, aside from editing. Awesome. Congratulations, uh, Blue, Jordan. you should uh, tell them about the segment. Mm -hmm. Guys, we'll be playing more of... Me uh, We'll be playing League of Legends, if all you guys don't know about it right now. Uh, basically, it'll if you don't know what the game Push is, <laughs> it's a 5v5 game where you and a few other people basically pick roles in certain, uh, certain characters and aspects. You have basically three lanes, which is a top lane, middle lane, and a bottom lane. And also a jungle where you face monsters as well. I don't think I need to ask you to tell them about what League of Legends is. I imagine most people know what it is. I was just asking to tell them specifically about the segments. Jeez, aren't you an asshole? I am. But Thank to, you for to be fair, to be fair, he did tell you. I'll tell you. Actually, only tell him about the segment. Yeah, I think you were kind of getting off track a little bit. Fine. But basically, it will be probably some hilarious plays of me and Jordan. Probably me fucking up. Jordan doing better than me, and definitely me. Uh, googling over certain characters and then doing even certain impersonations. And of certain we characters. may even actually have some more guests on that segment, just depending on what happens. I True. will not be participating. I can't imagine Alex will either. Can nope. Can nope. I don't do. I don't do MMO RPGs. Well, it's not MMO. It's weird. By the way, there's a pike sticking out of me. But um, there is a pipe sticking out of you. Have you tried alchemizing it away? Ha! I was just about to make that a reference. Because apparently, you. not only did you try, but you succeeded. Um, another thing that we are hoping to look into is music parodies. Because let's face it, they're fun. I had a bit of fun playing, not playing, singing the operas. fake opera renditions of pop songs in our last segment of Saints Row. And, you know, it's just a fun little thing that we can hopefully play around with a bit. Um, Do you stink or is it just... Flies. It's like it flies. Pestilence, yeah. I imagine. What the so fuck is that on your leg? Death. Um, yeah, oh, those. those things. Imps. Oh, okay. Uh, Sorry, getting off track. So there is that. There's, um... It's beautiful. Oh, uh, we've got the You're segment way off track, of... Dude. Oh, what are those called? Any MOBAs or something? MOBAs, yeah. The MOBA segment, we've got some, hopefully some, oh shoot, song oh, parodies. Really what I'd like to do in the near future as well is possibly posting some speedrun videos on the channel. I would say you can do that. And this would be, again, on the weeks that we don't have episodes of the cast oh, or shit. our... Um, dating sim episodes so that's a uh, interesting thing on cb extras which we don't very often post videos i'm going to be posting some videos of me doing speeches they're just little things it should be again an interesting little just oh you're posting your speeches for i am public mm -hmm. speaking yep again it's nothing special it's not it's just meant to be a little side segment but you know it's is what it is though i will laugh if we get copyright claims on the friggin <laughs> Vid on my speech videos because hey you're using content that was originally posted by CB Presents it's like bitch I am CB Presents <laughs> wouldn't that mean we have to follow the claim against ourselves uh, yes <laughs> where's the fair use uh, I don't know hang on let me uh, copyright claim myself oh god <laughs> 
Is there any... Oh, crap, I was about to say that was still going to be video game related, but it was still towards the channel, though. Well, go ahead and say it. I mean... Uh, projects... Um, I knew that's not where he was going, but I thought it too. <laughs> it's because it's sick. I can't it's, help it. It's hang on, chicken. just one thing. Ah, oh, fuck you! I was about to do that. What? What, what was he doing? Sega no, Stop it! Sega ta sanjiro. Sega ta sanjiro. Sega ta sanjiro. <laughs> Critic reviewed that. Critic reviewed that. Um, oh. Those commercials, and he pointed out. It's like Japanese Chuck Norris. And the worst thing is, he is... Okay, so this is a little video gamey, but this isn't a game we're playing on the channel because it's pacing issues. Um, Project Cross Zone. The fact is, the game has him in his character, which is kind of completely out of left field. And oh, then, he is? Yeah. Son of a bitch. He yeah, acts pretty much own. exactly so like he does in the commercials. Because, um, let's see, when Project Cross Zone was coming in Japan... Sega was all like, hey guys, look who we brought. And it literally was Sega Ta Sanchiro literally giving like, hey guys, I'm going to be a solo unit. I was like, holy crap, who is this guy? Oh, so let's make a quick comment about the fact that Phoenix Wright is the only solo unit who's a pair unit. True. He has to be. I know, it's still ridiculous. It's like, oh hey, solo unit, Phoenix and Maya. What? <laughs> Excuse me, that is not what solo means. <laughs> Well, oh, sorry, I said in Japanese. <clears throat> Objection! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And of course, the biggest piece of missed potential by the fact that they're not a pair unit, the fact that you can't pair them with Sega Sanchiro. It would be hilarious if you could. It would be amazing. Uh, but I got off trap. Off trap? Off trap. Off topic. What Is about that... Bridget? Which Bridget are we talking about? It's a trap. <laughs> Funny thing is, I'll save that for another time because of Guilty Gear X3. Um, other games that we want to play, uh, of course, Project After Undertale. I've been putting into thought of what I want to play next. Undertale, we're about halfway through the game at this point. Yeah, we are. So sweet. But as always, that's one of the things. Sooner the better. <laughs> well, it, I actually agree. Sooner the better because, of course, the one, next one I want to play, of course, involves you two. Oh, this should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Tales of Symphonia Cross. Oh, yeah, you did mention that. Because we got it on the PS3, and I was thinking, hey, it would be fun to play with YouTube because of course we are all... And that's true, because it doesn't have the friggin' issue with the multi having to do the multi-tap. We can all play with just wireless controllers. Correct. That's why I was thinking, like, it would be nice to play with YouTube. I call dibs on Kratos. I call dibs on Genus. I call dibs on Lloyd. All right. Even though Sheena's my favorite character, God does her combat so So yes, here's the does. issue then, that we have to fight with. Who are we going to have... Let's, let's be honest, spoilers. Yeah, right. Who are we going to have to do for the relationship? Oh, oh shit, that's right. Well, relationship? Yeah. Remember, remember whoever you want Highest with... relationship value? Yeah. Who are we going to have to pick for that? I would say uh, Colette, Colette, but... True... Yeah, I was about to say, I would say Colette just because. I'm going to veto that. Why? Why? I'm going to take full veto privilege on and pick myself who we're, I'm going to pick who we're doing the relationship with. Who? We're doing it with Kratos. But, damn it, I won't say another spoiler, no, not. Whatever. The reason why is because, again, that would be my player character. Yeah. And Zealous does not play the same. They, yeah, they don't. They don't, I agree, but... Oh! Yeah, I was, <laughs> this is a, that's why I was saying spoiler alert. I don't want to say. Now I know what you're talking about. Which ca okay? Yeah, okay, man. Yeah, I know it sucks, but we could always do a. Plus, um, it's not gonna for him. I feel bad for Zealous now. Yeah, I, I don't really. He's kind of. Oh yes. Yeah, oh, don't get me wrong. He's a total tool and an asshole, but True. at the same time, he does make up for it. Yeah. And the hilarious thing is that would just make me want to play Tales of Symphonia two just for the whole event with the fact that you actually does make mention of who you pick. Yeah. Which means there's a cutscene about the fact that you pick Kratos, but Zelos is still, you know, with the group and everything, so... Yeah. Despite, you know, <sighs> don't have, yeah. So, you know, there's that. But it's just... It is what it is. Warning, we are dancing around spoilers for, like, a freaking... Oh, oh, but the funny thing is... A year old game. Yeah, really. Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert, Eris dies. You <laughs> son of a bitch! 
you know, you know, Sephiroth. He, she had it coming. She did. <laughs> <laughs> She's nice and all that, but she stood there like a friggin' idiot. But she was praying. She was yeah, like, God she helps honestly us. Didn't know it was coming. <laughs> you, you mean to tell me she did not see that coming? Oh, no, yeah. she, she knew it was coming. Okay, she did not expect someone just to pop out of the live stream and stab her in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that always how it's supposed to end? You're like, I didn't expect you to stab me in the back. Baby, I always stab you back. You mean you did not see that coming? Yeah, so um, other things we're going to do oh, is geez. we already kind of did the first episode of it just as due to an error. Uh, fighting game segments, which is something we want to do for a while, but we definitely need more art for that. And I need to actually get back into drawing, which yes. is, leads into another me, me, segment me, 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 to do. Me, me. <laughs> um, if we can get some requests, I would like to do a segment which is just like short, maybe one, two minute videos where we take drawing requests and me and Blue, and if he really wants to, though, I don't think he does, Alex. I am not a good artist. Neither are we. No, I mean, I'm actually not good at drawing. I do. Well, that's it why is, you it just not do it. it. <laughs> That's it's not an ability that I have to draw. Well, anyway, the point is we'll take some drawing requests and we'll post some quick little things on the channel, and uh, we can even have contests to see. It's like, okay, who's did the who did the better? Uh, I can tell you it won't be me. <laughs> Maybe. What if it's just, hey guys, draw boobs? Oh yes! Finally, Start. the one talent I don't have because drawing boobs is really fucking hard. Start with one circle. And you're already doing it wrong. Then one more circle. And now you're doing it even more wrong. Then one big circle. What the fuck are you even doing at this point? Then a raincoat blowing in the wind. I have clearly <laughs> lost track of what reference you're making. It's a, it's a, it's an, a, the ending to an anime. It's desert punk. Oh, you know, I haven't seen that. I actually enjoyed it for the first few episodes when Desert Punk was a, um... Didn't it, like, go from comedy to really severe drama? Event yes, it did. Like, I think, like, halfway through, I think? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'd never finished it. Because here's the problem. He went from a likable jerk to an, oh my god, I fucking hate this guy, jerk. Oh, you know- And if I, I don't like the character, I'm not gonna get invested in I actually story. like character yeah. arcs like that, incidentally. It's like, oh, hey, cool, this is this guy I really liked it, but do, but do, hey, he's really cool, he's trying to do the good thing, and why the fuck is he suddenly marching on the good group of people and killing everyone? Okay, it's not like that. No, but um, Legend of the Legendary Heroes, uh, oh, spoilers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put it this way. You start with an idealistic king, his best friend, who he sends on a quest, and a knight oh. who he sends with the best friend. Yeah. And it ends the first... Might as well call it the love interest. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. He doesn't have love interest because of his uh, yeah, I know. thing, but the fact is, you look, end look, with... Look what happened to the first love interest. Yeah. It Spicy ends stuff. basically with one, the story... The anime ends with the story starting, and with the friggin' idealistic king having turned into an evil despot. And it is, oh my god, Ooh, one nice. is such an unsatisfying, is a really good series with a very unsatisfying ending, because the ending is just the beginning. Oh, and that's funny, because Eric Vale is the king, Ian Stiller, not Ian Stiller, yeah, actually, yeah, Ian Stiller is, uh, I can't remember the magic dude's name at the moment. Well, it doesn't matter, it's been so long since I've watched it. I just remember the voice actors, as always, because the Funimation dub. Uh, Lucy Christian was Fen Ferris. Yep. Hey, oh, the Alex, other are king. Are you okay? The other king. Yeah, I'm fine. Are I'm you honest. okay? Yeah. Are you okay, Alex? Are you sure you're not trying to call me Annie? Alex, am I okay? Am I okay? Am are I you okay, 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 Alex? Alex? <laughs> <laughs> like that. Like, I hope we wouldn't get like, like, uh, what was it? Parody yeah, again. Pa parody of a song. And it's like not that. even like a track they own. Really? It's just us singing to the, the song a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Though I think that might be another thing if we I are you okay? do fake opera things of songs like I could totally do that you've been hit by you've been struck by a, sm a smooth uh, criminal I don't know why can't I see what the fuck is going on uh, I don't think you're okay I definitely don't think you're okay Neither do I don't I. think you're okay Alex what the shit <laughs> fuck is down there Ash 
Pikachu. And now suddenly I can see. I must have gone through. I must have. I think so. Probably just some of that. Yeah. But like, there's so many other. I other... am Satan. <laughs> I. You guys can't see it, but I'm running on lava. When whenever I run on water, uh, at least you're not and... surfing on lava. When I run. <laughs> <laughs> When I run on water in uh, Saints Row 4, I start singing I Am Jesus, which I picked up from the Nostalgia Critic Man of Steel review. Son of a bitch. The symbolism is so friggin' obvious. It 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 kind of does just go randomly. I am Jesus. Oh, that, bring it's it like full circle song. to the fact that we were going to start talking about the Batman v Superman trailer. Oh, hey, yeah, you should do that. <laughs> okay, so the internet, before, because I, I didn't see the trailer till a while later, and it was just like, it came up as a YouTube video. It's like, oh, whatever, I guess I'll watch it. And, like, they're talking so much about, oh, my God, Batman was able to block the thing with a suit of armor. Does that mean he's going to curb stomp Superman because he was able to block the punch? It's like, whatever. Except people seem to forget the fact that they spent the whole other part of the ad when they were showing Superman fighting Batman. Batman was in that suit of armor and getting tossed about like a rag doll. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, there are two things about that. One, you're right. They Okay, it's like... At the very end of the trailer, Superman throws a throws a, um, a haymaker, and Batman blocks it, and Superman looks at him like, "Holy shit! I didn't expect that." But I, it's like, I exactly that. that it's hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I did not see that coming, and it's like everyone's like, "Oh!" And but it's, it's not like, like Mike. It's, Mike pointed this out. It's not a "I'm screwed." Did not see that coming. It's like, this is, "Huh?" Yeah, Interesting. it's not an "I'm screwed." It's just like, "Whoa, neato." But okay. Okay, actually, three things. One, and Mike pointed this out to me. Superman never throws a full-strength punch. Correct. He never does except against Doomsday and Darkseid. Correct. Let us and, and Bizarro. Bring back yeah. the whole World of Cardboard speech. Yeah, World of Cardboard speech. He was only trying to knock Batman on his ass. He wasn't trying to kill him. But to be fair, Therefore, it is Ben Affleck, so killing him yeah. might be acceptable. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, this is after he acted in Gone Girl and after he directed, what was it? Yeah, but he directed was some movie. Kind the of a complete is, prick in Mallrats. Yeah, but you know that was also that was before. You can hate him before all that. Now we can laughably laugh at his laughably laugh old, laughably laugh at his old badness. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what's, no, he was in Daredevil. Yes, he was. He was Daredevil. That yes. was dare. Oh God, that was a bad movie. We we all admit that. Yeah. But that was in the this past. is certainly now. the <laughs> year of superhero. Well, actually, it's been the decade of superhero movies. Yeah. I'd say. Ever yeah. s- probably, I'd say ever since um X Men and Spider Man hit the screen. Oh, X Men was two thousand. Spider Man was two thousand one. Those two. Were Avengers the- is what really kind of set. No no, the- no, 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 no. Hang on. I, I see where you're going with that. What Avengers did was set the tone for the cinematic universes to start being attempted. But and that's not what I'm talking about. just comics. Before that, though, superhero movies were kind of sparsely populated still. But when Avengers came out, that's when we really started like kicking up gear on how frequently they came out. Shit. Dung goofed. Dung goofed. Hopefully that didn't fuck up my game. No. Oh. Yay! I don't know, it might still fuck up later. <laughs> you still look fucking later either. I know, I did not save at all during that final battle. Probably should've. Anyways, um, so... Back to the things I was talking about with the trailer. Um, yeah, okay, Mike pointed out that- So, it never throws full strength about it, was just, So basically he just- the suit blocked a- a, a, a love tap, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, that's what no, it was! I know, hang on, I'm just it trying to remember a love quote. Tap. Oh, what is that quote? Oh, don't be so melodramatic. It's just a love tap. Oh, God. Yeah, what is that from? Dragon Ball Z Bridge. Oh. Um, oh, Zarbon, isn't it? No, it was uh, Frieza it was level two. Oh, okay. Um, But yeah, it was. he blocked a love tap. Maybe he used Kryptonite. Maybe the suit's strong enough to block a love tap. But Probably here's the, the second o- one. Here's the other thing. Yeah, because Superman wasn't in in any pain. However, the Lego set does show his gun firing kryptonite, but then again, Lego sets lie. Iron Man 3. <laughs> now, oh, that was horrible lies. Now, second thing, earlier in the trailer, they show, now in, in the comics, Batman delivered a kick with his spiked boots that, you know, scraped Superman's jaw, blood was gushing. 
That kick is recreated, only Supes just blocks the thing. It just hits him like he's hitting a brick wall and just he just catches the leg. Which is pretty uh, much anything you're going to be hitting Superman with is still like hitting a brick wall. It's like, ugh, more like hitting an, uh, just a full, thick iron wall. Yeah. But here's the other, and here's the rest of the, the, other, the other two things. My, as Mike pointed out, the rest of the trailer. We see Superman tossing that suit around like it's nothing. And two, Zack Schneider already went on record saying Batman is not did not put on that suit to beat Superman. He put it on to not die. <laughs> it is for defense. But of course, Note, with the fans. Hang on, hang, hang on, one more thing. Note, by the time Batman first sees Doomsday, who you know is the final fucking boss, he's out of that suit. Why wouldn't he, if he beats Superman, wouldn't he still be in it? Or at least if he beats him because of the suit, wouldn't he still be in it? I no, bet he, you anything. It's because he knows he has no friggin' dog in that fight, really. He is ridiculously outclassed. Not just by his enemies, but by his allies as well. He it's like, really fucking is. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think Batman has any right to be in the Justice League on the front lines. He is a tactician. Yeah, he I was going to, to say, he has the, the right. bat. He, he needs to be in the watchtower telling everyone else with his bat binoculars where the fuck to go. <laughs> Just like, hang on, hang on. Bat binoculars, hey, bat walkie. Hey guys, I'm looking at, down at you from space. Um, So, Superman, you're going to want to flank him and Wonder Woman... Uh, can you just look up slightly? Yep, right there. Uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh my god, it reminds me of, what was it, the little comic of Superman and Wonder Woman, of like, wait a second, you mean, the bracers are a bit much, right? Like, what do you mean? Like, can't you, like, deflect bullets like me? And then remember when she stops, and they keep hitting her boobs, and it's like, everybody's like, keep on hitting the boobs, and they're like, okay, point taken. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah. So Wonder Woman's one of those characters who has a really weird power level that's based kind of on who's the author. Because sometimes she's really, without the bracers, she's almost helpless. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes she is... What's a Superman? Yeah. No, let's see. I mean, I'll, I'll say it. There are times when she can take on Superman. Yeah. She can actually beat him based on... If you, if you, she, if you went with, like... With normal Superman, because let's face it, if you go beyond that, you're entering undefeatable territory. Let's you went with a normal, normal Superman, Superman. Original Superman is pretty much undefeatable territory. Oh, it's cool. I have super ventriloquism. Also, he just pulls powers out his back. Yeah, he really does. But no, I'm talking about just normal Superman and um normal no not not and and Wonder Woman with most of her new fifty two abilities. Specifically one in particular. She doesn't get tired. Her body does not produce the toxins that make you tired. That's correct, right? Uh, it's there not are... toxins so much as Lactic your acid. muscles actually just start to tear apart is correct. what okay. makes you tired. Her muscles don't do that. They, her, she does not get tired. So, basically, she can keep fighting for fucking ever. Yeah. Superman can't. He does get tired. And they are equal in strength. Yeah. Except the only thing I say that Superman has that she sometimes... Well, I don't know if she has it in this iteration. Mm -hmm. Superman can fly. She can too. Except when she can't, because again... Except when you give her her invisible plane for yeah. some Because, again... Uh, but that's the biggest funny thing. It's like, basically, she gets so screwed over because basically she's a woman, so she can't fly. But then, what do they give her? A jet. a jet. And here's the whole the whole terrible joke that sings, women can't fly planes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it's not a but it's not a it's not a superhero joke. It's not about comics. It's just the fact that a lot of times there's that joke that flies around women can't fly planes. Mm -hmm. But then woman to woman flies a jet cuz she can do anything that a man can, including fly a jet. That's invisible. Yeah, I can do but, oh but yeah, so uh, was there anything else I wanted to point out? There was something I want to say and I just don't want to forget it. No, yeah. It, this, here's know. basically the fan interpretation of Batman. I can't lose, I'm Batman. Can't lose! Batman can't lose! I can't lose! Batman can't lose! And, and, then he, and then he doesn't lose. Which is fucking annoying. Because he's, he's just a guy in a suit. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. That is hilarious. Ah, oh, shit. 
That is hilarious. He should fucking lose every, almost every fight he's in. Yeah. Well, most Especially of his villains, in his older years. Most of his villains, thankfully, seem to age with him and don't have as extensive combat training as he does with one suit notable exception who he really has no right beating. Bane? No. Ra's al Ghul? Oh, yeah, he has no right beating Ra's al Ghul. I don't care how good Batman is. It's fucking Ra's al Ghul. He's been alive for literally centuries. Hmm. Honestly, I think he just lets him win. I'm, I'm Ra's al Ghul. I'm bored. Yeah. Face me. I can't remember. I know that name, and I know because, of course, we play it in the DC Avengers game at our school. I'm so rich, I'm just throwing Isn't my Isn't he also in. magic? Yeah. Uh, so he could, Ross Agul could potentially fight Superman. No, he's not magic. Oh. He's not magic? He, he, he might know magic, Ow. but he, he himself is not magic. Oh, that's right. He uses the Lazarus Pit to stay alive. Is that magic? That's it, what it, I'm it is, but that doesn't make him magic. But he can use magic. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the reason why I was thinking, like, why do I know the name? Um, isn't he the one who brought Robin back to life? Dick, yep. Not Dick Grayson, but, um... Jason Todd. Thank you. Jason yep. Todd at, for Red Hood. There we go. Yeah, because... Sense. He, he, he thought it was a good fucking idea. He was like, he was you, wrong. He was like, you lost At this point, Robin, we talk about so. how Batman's the world's greatest detective. He's not the smartest person in the DC Universe anyway. True, there's Brainiac and a few others. True, but Okay, he's not, not the strongest pure human... He's not the smartest pure, pure human deductive ability-wise okay. in the DC Universe. That honor goes to Lex Luthor. Why did I put the emphasis I'll, on the Thor there? I'll give you that. Lex Luthor is the... Is has the greatest deductive mind in DC Universe of the humans, and yet, and because, and, and a lot of people would say, and yet he can't figure out Superman's secret identity. That's because his mind literally cannot comprehend a weakling like Clark Kent is Superman. In fact, Lex Luthor once built a machine to deduce who Superman was, and it was right because it it picked up on all the little facial features. A Superman. Let's be honest. And depending to, on how we go back to and matched to Clark Kent, Lex Luthor was so convinced that it couldn't possibly be Clark, he thought the machine had made a mistake and had it destroyed. Let's be honest for a second. If we go back, it doesn't matter what continuity. Superman started in Smallville, growing up with Lex Luthor. Uh, there. Well, again, like you said, it depends on the continuity. In most of them, though, that is the case. So, and he was, okay, so, hmm, what's in small, who was in Smallville? Superboy and Clark Kent. Yeah. Who's in Metropolis? Superman and Clark Kent. Yeah. He's not, he knows who Superman is. It's not a, I need to figure out who Superman is. He's just putting on the airs. He's just putting on the Ritz? Mmm, <laughs> mm, all those delicious buttery crackers. I'd butter those crackers. I'd. I don't even. I'm, I'm not even gonna. Hey, I'm just bringing it back. Then rewind it back. Um, so, so my, we've got a lot, hopefully, in mind for this coming year. It's been... Uh, one I'm gonna kind of ride. wrap up. Yeah, yeah it has been exactly a year since we posted our first know? video. Well, he's not been in it... Not for the channel, but... He's been in it for one third of the channel's lifespan at this point. Almost. A little over, a little year. under. But it's been one hell of a ride. The fact that we got this far is thanks to not just... It's thanks to everyone. You guys who view our videos. Jordan, it's thanks to you because we would have burnt out so long ago had we not had you. I know we said this in the whole 100 subscribers thing, but it's still worth mentioning. We, The fact that we're able to do this much and we were able to get this far, it's thanks to all of you. And we hope that we can keep doing more in the future. I mean, we want, I don't want to get like big enough to be that big, but we want, I want to get bigger. We're going to have more content, hopefully get to a point where we can post more videos. How is his hand standing up like that? You know, be you able know, to post more just... videos a week than five videos a week. I want to be able to pay Jordan for his work right, on a regular basis so that he can have more time to edit for us. 
I mean, we were at six videos a week, and I think that was causing some burnout. Now we're down to, we're up, we went down to four, and we're back up to five. I mean, what else can I say? In my retrospect, I just want to be a decent enough artist that helps out this channel and also makes some sort of connection. And that's why we can do that whole little art thing. Um, anything to add to this, Alex? No. No? Nope. <laughs> it's like, fuck it? No, it's not, it's it. not a fuck it, it's just a... Nope. I got nothing to add. No, how about anything no, to add to no. oh, shit, the cast itself, since we are kind of getting close to wrap-up time? Oh, crap. The funny thing is, I was about to say, like, I keep forgetting you won't, you won't watch Ruby because the person fucked it up for you. I, hate it, I, I didn't say that I wouldn't watch Ruby. I just said I don't feel... I, don't, I really kind of... Kind of wait until you almost forget, but not really forget. Yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much what it is at this point. Oh, I'm gonna talk about it to you too. I know you do, buddy. I know, but oh, hey, I'm beating up on a gay guy. <laughs> gay magic, what? <laughs> In Mortal Kombat, there's ev there's no gay bashing. There's only gay ev beating. Everyone bashing. Oh, oh it reminds me of the Yusuke Yurameshi thing that I think it was one of the cast. I can't remember which one, though. We talked about music in the cast three. This is the cast five. Holy crap. Yeah, that's right. Because the very first cast oh. was the memes, Star Wars, and, um... What else was it? Movies. The, movies, that's the right. The cast two was School Life. The cast uh, three was anime. Cast four was Deadpool. And this is the cast number five. Nah, it wasn't anime. It was anime, anime music. music. Even though we really only talked about it for half the cast. So, um... You know what? I think it's been a good run. We've had a nice, uh, almost an hour of uh, chatty, chatty, talky, talky. Chatty, chatty, talky, talky. Chatty, chatty, talky, talky. Chatty, chatty, talky, talky. Okay, can someone shut him up, please? Well, I was trying to get to that. You said dumb shit. What was I supposed to do? Um, Jordan, shut the doors. We don't do the doors. Remember, no. this is no. There's an audio the format um, yeah. of this, and we even in the. Those. Video format, it's just the uh, buzzer, which, oh, there it is. Well, I guess we will catch you guys in the next cast. Uh, bye bye. Bye.